Hello guys, this is Farz and welcome to Farz Lossi. And in this tutorial, we will learn a lot of things. We will learn uh, how to change the background, how to blend two pictures, how to blur the background, how to mask the subject with the background, and also how to select subject and etc etc. So it is a total package tutorial. Hope you love this tutorial. Okay, now let's get started. <laughs> Okay, we will work with this picture. This is a very beautiful picture. Okay, let's see that. I want to brighten up uh, the face a little bit. So let's use, okay, go with the image, then adjustment, then uh, where is the shadows and highlights? Yes, the shadows and highlights. Okay, so I want to increase the shadows just a little bit. I think 50 works fine to me. So let's see the before and after. Look at this. This was the before. And this is after the subject looks fine now right okay so it's done it's fine okay now copy the layer twice by pressing ctrl and j okay so the first layer is for the subject we will select the subject on layer one copy and the layer one is mainly we will work on the background purpose okay so hide these two layer and select the layer one copy okay that's fine and now i uh, go to the select option and here you will find a subsect option this is the select subsect option you will find this option on photoshop 2020 or 2021 okay if you uh, are using the earlier version of photoshop or older the version of photoshop then you have to select the subject manually you can use paint tool you can use or uh, maybe a quick selection tool or whatever uh, selection tool you want you can use to select the subject okay so at this moment i'm using the uh, subject selection option so here just click subject and let's see what photoshop can do okay let's zoom in and see i think photoshop has done a great job yeah it looks good okay so there are some areas you need to fix like this area okay so okay let's use a quick selection tool for this to select this okay just click and select or like this okay press and hold alt and click for the negative selection okay on this area okay okay Oops. Okay, let's use um, lasso tool to select this. Press and hold Alt for the negative selection. Okay, so I want to remove this part like this. I think now it is fine. Okay, so this looks fine to me. Okay, now click on the mask to select the subject. So this is your subject okay now i want to fix the hair the edge of the hair mainly so select on the mask and then here you will find the option select and mask option just click on this okay so yes this is your subject and now select the refine as brush tool and now just click and drag on the edges of the hair like this I think yeah I think yeah it's fine it looks good to me okay so here output I think yeah it should selection I'm going with selection that's fine I'm going a little bit smooth maybe four or two let's go with two that's fine now press okay that's good press ctrl and d to deselect and now activate the layer one look at this so this is your subject and this is your background okay I want to apply another picture on the background and blend with this picture and blur the background okay okay for now uh, select the layer one and now press ctrl 
place and hold control and select on the mask of the layer one copy just like this and you'll get back the selection okay now select the layer one and go to the select option then modify then expand and i'm going with 28 pixels okay uh, it depends on your picture it depends on your uh, resolutions okay so i can press okay and now right click on the mouse and select here content tower fill okay i'm happy with the result so press okay okay hide the layer one copy and press ctrl and d to deselect look at the result okay you can see this area you need to fix this okay so again active the layer one copy select the layer one uh, and now select the clone stamp tool press and hold alt select the source and just paint like this to fix this area it's very easy so don't worry okay i think yeah it's done it looks fine now so this is your background okay and now i want to apply another background and blend with this okay so go to the file and then select place embedded okay this is the picture okay make it a little bit bigger i think it will be fine okay now press enter and select the mask and now select the gradient tool and use here totally black color and here also black color okay and now just click and drag like this okay so i think yeah it's fine that's good i think okay now select these two layer and mars layers and name the background that's fine okay now active the layer on copy this is your subject and now look at this it looks fine okay now select the background layer and go to the filter option and go to the blur gallery and select here till shift blur that's good and drag this to the down cause i don't want to blur this area okay and drag this up now increase the blur value boom look at this it looks beautiful that's fine maybe on this area just a little oops okay that's fine let's increase it a little bit more i think yeah it's fine let's apply some uh, bokeh effect just a little okay that's fine i think the blur looks great to me okay now press ok so look at this this was the before and this is after look at this look at the drama it looks beautiful okay that's fine okay now select the layer one and create a curves here and I want to brighten up the subject a little bit. I think this is fine. Okay. Now select the curves, select the mask, and press Ctrl and I to inverse. Now pick the white brush and decrease the flow around maybe 9% or 10%. Decrease the brush size and now just paint. Look at this. Okay, let's create clipping mask. That means the layer only apply on the subset, the layer one copy. Okay. 
now look at this this was the before and this is after it looks fine okay okay now create another layer and create clipping mask again okay so look at the edges the hairs this is not matches with the background color okay so uh pick the eyedropper tool select the color from here and now paint with the brush okay let's decrease the flow more around maybe five percent let's start and now paint on the edges it will help you to blend the subject with the background like this You will mask the color so it's a very good idea so i think now it's fine look at this it looks really good okay now again go to the uh, color balance option and clipping mask again okay in the mid tones uh, i need to decrease and to increase this one okay increase the red just a little on the subject and then bring back the yellow look at this this was the before and this is after yeah it looks fine that's good okay now come into the background layer and here create a new layer okay and then pick a brush increase the flow and press and hold alt and select a color from here maybe okay now just paint like this on the background okay now change the blending mode to overlay i think it's too saturated so i uh, decrease the opacity around 29 percent maybe Look at this. This was the before and this is after. It creates a glow. Okay, that's fine. Now, again, go to the color balance option. Okay. And I want to bring back the reds and also the yellow. That's good. Look at this. This was the before and this is after. It looks great. It looks fine. Okay. Uh, now I want to add a vignette effect so create a new layer then go to the edit and fill and select here 50 percent gray that's good change the blending mode to soft light and select here burn tool exposure 50 percent is fine let's try with this okay let's increase it more and now just paint like this look at this look at this this was the before and this is after it looks fine okay let's go with the dozen burn tool and decrease the exposure maybe five or six and now just add some shine It's fine go to the barn tool and decrease the exposure and look at this this is the before and this is after So it's done look at this this is the before and this is after wow it looks great it looks dreamy it looks beautiful let's see the before and after overall look at this this was the before and this is after wow it looks great okay now if you want you can add some more light let's go with it okay i want to add a orange color 
take the branch oops, oops 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 create a new layer and now just change the blending mode to screen maybe let's see and now i think i should use a more orange color like this create a new layer and just paint change the blending mode to screen and decrease the opacity like this look at this this was the before and this is after okay uh create a mask and now paint with black color to hide the effect from the face just a little not too much okay this was the before and this is after yeah it looks fine it looks great to me let's zoom out and see look at this this was the before and this is after okay let's see the before and after overall again this was the before and this is after look at this look at the drama it looks beautiful the color tone it looks really great so the editing is done i hope you love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe